So a couple of thoughts. One of them, before I forget, if you really like a couple of like one or two of your clients um, and you feel like they would trust you to manage the list, then you could just like email them and be like, hey, like I've really been learning a lot about list management. And um, would you mind if I like took a look and sent your account and then you just kind of like do a, like a sort of audit, which I'll kind of show you. Um, and then you, you make them a quick loom video describing the thing and be like, Hey, if you want me to just like log in and you know, send the emails for you every day, like, just let me know. And then that could turn into one of your five a month clients. Yeah. Um, so sometimes you don't really need to look far from where you are. It, it might be closer than you think. Just keep that in mind. Okay. Um, so the next thing for active campaign, and by the way, there is another video on this um inside the group i think it's called what to do when you get a new client it just kind of shows you like when i hop into an account like here's what i do but i'll do that uh, can, ask you, can i record this yeah it is recording yeah oh yeah you're recording yep. do you send me this yes awesome okay yep. so this is my account um the majority of the stuff on this like dashboard you can just ignore um i just like to see what my contacts are at i don't even know why this is here um you should probably honestly like remove all the stuff because it doesn't really matter. Um, so this section is the contact section. So I'm just going to try to simplify as much as possible. Mm -hmm. So this is not really like a, a super important area. It's just like it's where the contacts are stored and you can like, you know, search for them if they're tagged in certain ways or on certain lists or if they're you know, subscribed or not. Um, the main things that you want to look at they're like, okay, let's go to campaigns. Um, so this is where all the, the campaigns are set, right? Mm -hmm. um, and the funny thing, and I don't know why they do this, it's kind of silly to be honest, but like campaigns and reports are like the same thing. It's just like campaigns, you can't see the stats on them and you have to click view report, which then just like takes you over to this tab. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of stupid. Mm -hmm. um, but basically what you wanna do now is just look through the emails and just like see how they're doing. So to my list size, given that I'm inboxing well and I like talk about email and all that stuff, it's like usually in the mid thirties, like these are test emails, but um, you know, that one crushed it. Uh, or wait, actually no, that one was to less people, that's why. Um, but yeah, usually in the mid thirties is like a, a good benchmark to kind of play with. Um, so then the next thing to like keep in mind is like, okay, well, you usually want to maintain a minimum like 15 or 20%. So if they're above that, great. If they're below that, then you need to kind of like segment their list a little bit harder. And the way that you do that is by going into the automations, which we'll do that in a second. But another thing too, is like, you just want to like look around and like, okay, get a feel for what their open rates are. Like maybe, you know, read through some of the emails. So this is just a report. So again, most of the stuff you don't really need to look at other than like open rates, click rate. Uh, all that fun stuff and then you can click on message and you can just, you know take a look at the messages kind of see how they talk and like think like okay is there something better they could be doing as far as writing the copy is there something that doesn't make sense is it congruent with whatever they opted in for